Greetings, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about using base maps from ArcGIS Online inside your ArcGIS desktop environment. Now for years, many of us have looked at maps like this, and this is a current study I'm working on right now having to do with zebra mussel distribution across North America, U.S. and Canada specifically. Now, we've all looked at these kinds of maps for years, many of us that have been involved with GIS, and you're sort of used to this kind of thing, that you don't really have a context other than the polygons, points, and lines. Well, now you do have a, the ability to pull in all that data from ArcGIS Online, including some powerful base maps that let you visualize your study area much more effectively and to be more efficient in your work. So now I've, I've actually added the National Geographic base map to my local environment. Now, how did I do that? I also have the ability of switching it to the World Topo base map. So I still have all my points, lines, and polygons, but I've got a, a, a base map that's actually scalable. So if I go in here and look at this particular uh, concentration of zebra mussels in the Great Lakes region, I'm going to see that context. I'm going to be able to do th this as well. Let's say I wanted to look at this particular zebra mussel sighting in this particular part of Michigan. I can go ahead and go there, and then I can click on that point, and I can see that particular sighting in the data set. That is pretty wonderful to be able to do that. The reason why we can do that is because, in this case, in 1999, that zebra mussel was sighted right there and looks like the north branch of the White River. Now, I can do that because these services are living online, and as server farms and as bandwidth improves, we're going to be able to go into a, the library of ArcGIS Online services and pull very quickly, as I've just done here, these base maps up. Now, how did I do that specifically? Basically, what I did is I said, add base map, and it gives me this array, this, this library of choices from ArcGIS Online. Now, don't feel limited to these choices. These choices are wonderful. You've got imagery, you've got uh, topographic maps, etc. But you can also pull in other data from ArcGIS Online as well, not just base maps, but other data that you or colleagues or others have put out there. You can add them to your own mapping project. So that is wonderful news for anybody involved with spatial analysis with a geographic information system using these GIS tools from ESRI. Thanks.